Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to part two of this trying out some glass beads for eyes for this alien. Give you a little look. In this video I'm going to be doing the lower eyelids. I'll be patting out this area right here. This area right here. I'll also be doing a little around the neck and making this chest area thingy. Starting this off, I wanted to do something with the bottom eyelids. Uh, I only made the top ones in the last video and I wanted to you know, fill in the, it was a bit shallow on the outer edge of the eyes. But continuing my same method, I just put a uh, a little sheet on the bottom of the eye basically a little snake flattened out and attached it with a smaller one using a stylus tool I just got these uh, a pack of stylus tools and I've seen other people use them I've been wanting to give them a try and I'm trying to break free from just using my thumbs for everything but if you noticed I, I use my thumbs a lot when I sculpt, especially for smoothing and stuff. I, mean, I don't know if that's bad or whatever. I don't know if it's cheating or if you have to have a tool in your hand the whole time, but I use my fingers a lot. See, now I'm patting out the back of the head right there, making it a little thicker at the bottom. I get it all really, really close. And then to make a, a surface flat again I found that you can just put a piece of clay on top of the area you just you know fixed and it kinda gives you a level flat area again neat little trick you know it helps for padding out areas uh, thicker I also wanted to pad out the forehead and I'm doing this by rolling out snakes that are tapered on both ends and you can actually alternate the, how thick they are, like gradually increase the thickness of them and then decrease it. What that does is it makes like an artificial little mound or hill or, or essentially any kind of contour you want to create, you can do that. Once you're done, just kind of rough them together. And then once they're all, you know, pressed together really, really good, you smooth it out. And of course, I'm using my thumbs again. Then I uh, highlight the details again, like on the sides. I, would, I didn't want clay down in there. I just wanted it to be kind of bulked out in the middle. Noticed how smooth it looked, and it looked like I hadn't even did anything in that area. So it's a neat little trick uh, using snakes like that, too. create a different surface anyways. Now I'm doing the neck area. I wanted to uh, just, just like two little tendons in the front and like an Adam's apple. I didn't do really much there. It could probably be a little better, I'm not sure. But I definitely had to do something there. I just wanted to uh, remind you guys that this is a mixture of clay. It is super sculpy firm and super sculpy. Um, this is my first time using this particular mixture of clay and I'm really really loving it right now. I asked in the video description of the last video what, what do you think about this mixture? Do you, would you like to see me mix it? And uh, Enough of you asked or wanted to see it so I will be making a video on that it's it's a lot of work it's it's gonna be a lot of work mixing uh basically I'm gonna mix a pound of super sculpy with a pound of super sculpy firm to create a two pound mixture of the both you know an even 50 50 but that super sculpy firm is so well firm and it's 
it was a pain just mixing this little mixture right here. This is about one pound. I used about a half a pound of each. But it's a really, really, really good clay for sculpting. I really love the way it feels. It's firm like firm, but it's sticky like super sculpty. So it's like the best of both worlds. I'll definitely be showing you how to you know make your own mixture of this stuff. Because I'll probably be using this for now on, from here on out. I'll just buy, you know, multiple boxes of each kind. I know it's more work on my part, but I like the way it feels and it shows up better on camera. And it's perfect for aliens, you know, being gray. Then I did some like vertebrae little bumps in the back. Nothing special there, just a few little bumps. That's pretty much for this. Um, really, really close to being done. Just need a little bit of details and stuff. Would really like to know what you think about it so far as it is now. I mean, how many of you would probably toss an oven right now and just slap some green paint on it or, I don't know, whatever color? Very curious to see what you have to say. I appreciate you guys for watching. It means so much. And I'll see you here again soon.